Did you have to go that far? Meow? For the last time, Luna, no, you cannot read my diary. I lock it in my drawer every day, and only I have the key. And I'm certainly not bringing it out whenever you're around. <sighs> Fine. After some time... Tia, I'm going on vacation for a week. Why so sudden? I just felt like it, sister. The next morning... Good morning, Luna! Celestia gleefully shouted as she barged into her sister's room, only to blink as she looked upon an empty bed. Oh, right. You're on vacation. She harumphed. I so wanted to make you wake up in the morning. Oh well, pancakes for one today, it seems. As she busied herself gathering the ingredients in the kitchen, radiant rays of sunlight peeked through the window, as the sun rose above the horizon, slowly ascending into the sky. Celestia gazed out at the sun, the glare not bothering her. She had raised the sun for over an eon, after all. Twilight seems to be doing well. I should visit this weekend. There was a knock on the door. Celestia frowned as she looked up from her pancakes. Who? Who was visiting this early in the morning? She stretched her body, cracking her joints a little and letting out a sigh of contentment as she felt her stiffness go away. Putting on a small smile, she trotted over to the door and opened it. Celestia here, how may I help you? Celestia rubbed at her eyes. Was she seeing things? Meow? She apparently was not, or hearing things. She seemed to be sane. A midnight blue kitten lay in a basket by the doorstep, looking up at her with those... Why do they have such wide and adorable eyes? Well, hello there. Celestia said soothingly, as she lowered herself down to be on eye level with a kitten. Where's your owner? Meow? Oh, figures. She nodded sagely. They abandon you? Meow. This time it was more stretched out as if the kitten was agreeing with her. Hmm. Celestia considered the kitten before shrugging. Maybe Luna will like a kitten. Using her magic, she levitated the basket over to the counter before pouring a bowl of milk out. Here you go, little one. She cooed. Breakfast. The kitten stared at the milk for a moment before padding over to it and tentatively sticking out his tongue and giving it a lick. Its eyes widened before it started enthusiastically drinking the milk as fast as it could. Celestia giggled at the sight like a little filly, grinning widely. <laughs> what should I call you? Celestia mused, once her giggling had died down. Um... The kitten started printing itself, looking at its paws. Then it stretched itself up before taking an almighty leap off the kitchen counter, landing on the ground perfectly. Celestia blinked, her horn already lit up the moment the kitten jumped off, ready to catch it. But it looked as if the kitten was perfectly fine. It then did a series of jumps from the ground and on a stools before it made its way onto the table beside Luna's recliner. It tilted its head at the comfortable-looking couch before jumping on it and lounging on the recliner, making itself at home. Sorry herself, Celestia just noticed the telltale signs that the kitten was female, and smiled a little at the kitten doing a series of jumps onto the couch. Sure, Luna would be a little annoyed if Catfur got on her favorite seat, but she wouldn't mind it so much if it was a cute kitten. The kitten then yawned, stretching itself out and snuggling itself onto the recliner, just like how Luna would every day, after a day helping out around Silver Shores. Oh, I know! Celestia perked up. I'll call you Mooney. Since you look like Luna and act a bit like her, I'll call you Mooney. She'd love that. The kitten yawned, but there was a glint of something in its eyes. Maybe it was agreement or consent? You know... Celestia grinned as she lifted the kitten up using her hooves, before sitting down on the recliner and letting her sit on her. Luna and I are going to pamper you to bits. You won't even miss your old owner. I was once the princess of Equestria. I ruled over ten of thousands of ponies and creatures, and I took care of them all. And now, I'm gonna take care of you, little one. Meow. Mooney yawned. With long, gentle strokes, Celestia started petting Mooney, each one eliciting a purr of contentment from the kitten. I should write about you in my diary. Celestia murmured. You'd make a great addition, Mooney. Meow? Mooney turned to look up at her with those big, curious, and adorable eyes. My diary. She said with a smile. I write about everything I experience her doing there. You're going to be no exception, Mooney. Keeping a kitten, well, that's one of the things I always wanted to do once I retired. I guess I got my wish. Wait here, Mooney. She gently slipped the kitten onto the recliner. I'll grab my diary. She slipped into her room, before unlocking the drawer and taking out the white-colored book. She returned to the living room, and when she was about to sit down, there was a knock on the door. Another visitor? She thought out loud. I'll be back, Mooney. Take care of my diary for me, will you? She set the diary beside the kitten. There was no one at the door. What? She shrugged and closed it. 
When she returned to the living room, her eyes widened as she took in the sight. Mooney had disappeared, and there was Luna, sitting on the recliner, reading her diary. Wait, I told you that I'd read your diary somehow, Luna said with a smirk. Even if it meant becoming a kitten for a while, I must say, your pets are very enjoyable. Shall we do this again someday? Seriously, Luna? Just for the diary? Ah, damn. Well, I guess we'll never know what was actually in that diary. Oh well. Still, that was very enjoyable, nevertheless. Anywho, let's get on to our sneaky donators. Top donators are 630, J10Man, Darkside, Only One Thing, and Zeru Ryan. Raiden, Narwhals, Black Moonheart, Pastel Skies, Austin Rollins, Stu Hex, Sword Brother and Mordred, Omegon Library, Will, Chris, Twinkie, Hadzaza, Riot Soul, Iron Sky, Badass Waffle, Shadow Moon, and many more stealthy people. Thank you all so much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.